Hello, this is the Ruby's Articles channel, and this is QDoma once again. And today we are doing something different. Which I, well, not really too different. I've done this before, but I haven't done this in a long, long time. But we're going to basically jump on some video game news. Um, the first thing I'm going to um, jump on, I'm going to jump on the. Uh, the whole Activision Blizzard buyout by Microsoft for $68.7 billion. Yeah. Alright, what's the what's my thoughts on that? Well, one thing I can definitely say is a billion dollars. Yeah, it's a, it that that's a lot of money. However, you know, I have yet I have yet to see see any anybody put up even a high amount, you know. I'm waiting for it to go to like a, a trillion. Then, you know, then we can then 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 we can really really we can really say something about that, you know. Cuz you know, billion dollars, billions of dollars that you know, that's the regular that's the regular thing. You know, I don't hear I don't hear nobody putting up no trillions or going beyond that. But anyway, moving on, you know, Microsoft is now the third largest video game publisher in the world by revenue. You know, now that, now that's something to be said. The third, third largest. They are constantly growing, getting bigger and bigger. You know, at some point, they're going to have to get split up. I know definitely the... Um, Government is definitely keeping an eye on these people. Considering, you know, you had other companies like Apple that have gotten pretty big and, you know, governments and stuff have having to walk in. I guess uh, my question is, I wonder what Nintendo is thinking about this. Well, who knows? Nintendo ain't giving a rat's ass about freaking Sony or fucking Microsoft and Nintendo, they all in their own world. But I'm sure Nintendo is doing, has got something going on. They probably, you know, as always, it's going to be different and unique in its own way. As always. But I have one burning question that I'm wondering is like, what the hell is Sony going to do? You know, it's like with all these bios, you know, Microsoft is just, they just going nuts. Um, other interesting thing, uh, in the news, uh, with, with that, um, aside from that, and it, you know, with, uh, Microsoft, it's, you know, also, it's also shown that, uh, Microsoft is slowly but steadily expanding its holdings. Adding to the stability of first party developers, like uh, you know, I mean, like you know, with the con you know, combined purchase with, but you know, Bethesda and all, and um, that's making it more powerful. Uh, Microsoft has many arm um, behemoths in the game industry, so but the whole but the thing about it is. But they're only surpassed by Sony and Tencent. Here's a breakdown of the studio's games that Microsoft currently owns. Let's see. Now, according to the news, formerly established as Xbox Studios, publishing in 2000, Microsoft has published a wealth of games back to the 70s, including PC Standards, Solitaire, Minesuite, throughout... Uh, Microsoft created several first party studios, yada yada yada. Um, you know, they got like Guilds of War, Epic Games. Y'all pretty much got to get the idea. Y'all get the idea. Microsoft has definitely been busy. Uh, let's see, in 2014, let's see, Microsoft Lord Lodge's acquisition has been adding wildly successful Minecraft. To the Xbox family, which was uh, 2.5 billion dollars 
2018 was a major year for Xbox Clients X Studios. All right, well, we okay, we have them right here Ninja Theory, RPG Centric, Obsidian, uh, Playground Games, Undead Labs. We got that. And of course, you know, going into the 2020, 21, you know, they also have the mobile developer, Alva, you know, Alva Dog Games, got that, uh, Wolfenstein developers, um, ID Software. I mean, these are a lot of major companies that make a lot of games that a lot of us like. Keep that in mind. That is definitely something to um, think about. Um, and I guess the question is, how much are y'all going to care about it? Me personally, as long as I have good games from the system that I currently got, I'm not going to worry about it too tough like that. You know, um, it's just kind of like it is what it is sort of type of thing. I mean, you know, you got Xbox, which, you know, they're doing, well, Xbox, Freaking Microsoft, they're doing their thing. You know, this seems like this is a thing. You know, companies gobbling up other companies. But, you know, I mean, look at fucking Disney. Yeah, you know, Disney fucking has too much. I mean, freaking Amazon has too much. It's, that's just where it's going. And, and I don't know if this is going to be like whoever has the most uh, game developers is just going to win. And that's just going to be like, like, well, the rest of the game companies, they're screwed because now they own all the game. You know, I don't know. It's it's really, you know, I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point. I feel like. You know, with companies like Microsoft, I feel there's only been so much they're allowed to do. I mean, you know, for some, you know, this some people, you know, this is a good thing because Activision, Blizzard, you know, I know there have been some really crappy stuff going on in their company. And, and uh, I guess, you know, they had to clean house and, you know, you had some people or some individuals that had to go in that company but you know of course you know you know to some of the bad people to get rid of you know they're not gonna walk away on empty-handed they're gonna definitely um walk away with some money uh funny thing i want to bring in uh another uh somewhat similar news article um i'm gonna bring in skull girls interesting thing there you know i know there have been a lot of real uh issues with with that game company i know the main apparently the main main hit hosho turned out to be a a real douchebag apparently um and um like they I guess they they ended up fine. That main person ended up fine a bunch of people, and you know, not to mention there were other issues with you know other parties and other stuff with that. I mean, and Skullgirls, I will say, you know, after playing it, I played the mobile one. I played the one that's uh one on like like for the console system, second encore. You know, um, you know, they're both great. I love them, you know, oh my goodness. It's definitely a game that it totally draws you in. I love the music. I love the aesthetic. I, you know, it's the game mechanics are awesome. I feel like it's definitely a game nobody should sit there and sleep on with that, um, you know, I'm definitely looking for for it to make a comeback. You know, in you know 2022. You know, this is a game. You know, people should be talking about. This is a game people should be playing. You know, no disrespect to you know the main fighting games or you know that 
that that those of us have grown up with, like Street Fighter, you know, SNK, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, you know, all those are great games. You know, I'm going to tell you, Skullgirls could have very well been one of them type games that could have been created back when I was growing up as a kid. You know, I mean, it that wasn't the case. You know, it came along when it came along. I mean, I'm glad I was fortunate enough to be alive to play this game and enjoy it for what it's worth. You know, I, you know, I found about about it like later, you know, not when it, you know, but you know, it is what it is, you know, I mean, but there's definitely a base for it, a fan base, totally for, for, um, for, for, for this, without a doubt. Definitely, uh, you know, something that uh, if you don't know about it, you should definitely check it out. It's, you know, you got it on mobile. You got it. I mean, it's on PlayStation. Um, um, what is it? Uh, PlayStation Now. You got it. Definitely go, to go, go check it out. It's, you know, it's a must. But uh, going back. To that, you know, um, oh, I'm going to say one thing. I also feel like it's a classic game. It definitely falls under classic game for me. It's just something that you can just keep going back to. And also, I want to also point out, it also has great net code, you know. I mean, it's definitely one of them games you don't have to play online. You can set black and play it in the privacy of your own home. I like that. Um, uh, going, I guess, uh, forward with that. I think that I'm pretty much covered all that I need to cover for just overall gaming news. You know, I'm looking forward to whatever we get currently game-wise. Uh, uh, on another note, I know there's supposed to be a... Uh, a Cuphead TV series. I think that's supposed to be for Netflix. I don't know when that's coming. Hopefully it's coming soon. I did play that game too. Even though it's hard as hell. You know. This is like very frustrating. The enemies are. This unbelievable. But I mean. The, the aesthetic is awesome. It's once again. It's another one of the games. I feel like. That could have probably appeared like when I was growing up it could have could have maybe but I don't know anyway but uh that's all I got this is Qdoma out and like I said I will see y'all in the future hit that subscribe button and you know we'll you know we'll be seeing you